Well, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Very happy to be connecting with you today. It's a Tuesday. It's the seventh day of May, and things are moving quickly this month, huh? Today, we're going to be focusing on love, how to increase love and how to decrease suffering. Most people are going to be pretty happy about this topic. I suspect that a lot of us would like more of one and less of the other. And so today I'm going to share with you some very simple methods and techniques that can help you. Uh, unfortunately, all those things that are simple and easy are often pushed aside. Oh, that's too simple. How can that possibly make a difference for me? Well, my teacher, Master Shah, says... <clears throat> if you want to know if a pear is sweet, taste it. So if you want to know if this technique, this method works, then you have to experience it. So we'll be talking about that today. So I hope that uh, for those that are just tuning in, they stick around and receive the blessings and the benefits accordingly. So on today's subject of love, having more of it and releasing the sufferings, uh, I was talking to, I have quite a few students now, having done these live streams for almost three years. Next week is the third year anniversary, or about 10 or so days from now, something like that. And uh, so almost three years of serving all of you beautiful souls. <clears throat> and one theme seems to run through all of our lives, which is we all want, need, and deserve more love, and yet we tend to all have our own uh, level of suffering. Some of us, we suffer with our schooling, some of us, it's our parents. Some of us, it's our constant barrage of financial suffering. For others of us, it's the constant pain of the relationship or relationships that we are in. And some of us, it's all of the above. So suffering can tend to hit us from a lot of different angles. So I'll share with you today some of the root causes of that from uh, both a... Uh, a wider spiritual perspective, a Tao science perspective, <clears throat> and we'll deal with uh, how to transform those on a very, very simple and yet very effective level as well. So let's check in with who's joined us so far today. So welcome Missy Dodd, a welcome Kristen Rojas, aloha uh, Trina, welcome Shelly, welcome also to Bella Grace, aloha Master Elizabeth, welcome Christy, aloha NNC, Welcome also to uh, Deborah Lindsay, aloha. Diana Victoria, lots of people coming in from Europe. Thank you for being here. It's a little late over there. Welcome, Jovi. Welcome also to uh, Lisa. And also welcome to Chanel. Uh, thank you all for your presence. Thank you also for clicking on the share button. Uh, it's highly unlikely that anybody whose timeline this falls on would be disappointed with the wisdom that will be coming through today. <coughs> One of the uh, things that I want to remind everybody is that uh, all of the wisdoms that I share originates from uh, the source. And all the wisdom that the source <clears throat> brings to humanity usually comes through messengers. Uh, a more current modern day messenger that carries the, the message of love is Dr. and Master Shah. And so for those of you that might not be familiar with, he is a humanitarian he is a world-renowned author and a world-renowned healer. And so a lot of the wisdom that he shares is on the subject of love and self-healing. So if you're not familiar with him, I encourage you to pick up a few of his books. One of them that I'll be working with today is this one here called The Greatest Love. And I'll be sharing with you some insights from this book as well as some direct practices that we're going to be using uh, from this book today as well. <coughs> Welcome also to... Uh, Jetty Knickerbocker. So as we do in each and every live stream, we connect first because if we're going to release blockages of suffering, then we need to add love. So the best way to do that to start with is to bring love, peace, and harmony uh, to this environment. And so for those that are not familiar with this mantra that we will all join together in, it is uh, can, more can be found at lovepeaceharmony.org. And uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful mantra that if sung, can literally bring love and peace and harmony into your life. So let us connect. 
<clears throat> I will ask, first of all, the beings of light to join us, and then we will all sing this mantra together one round to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Dear all the beings of light, serving the plan of our beloved Creator, serving the plan of the light side, all the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, and ascended masters, all the lamas, sifus, gurus, and saints, we love you, love you, love you, honor you, and deeply respect and appreciate you. We thank you for your unconditional service and your presence in our life each and every day. Most of the time we are not aware visually of your presence, but we know you are there and we thank you for it. We ask for your presence at this time to serve each and every one of us to increase our love and decrease our suffering we are extremely humbled for your presence thank you thank you thank you <coughs> dear the soul of the song of love peace and harmony we love you honor you deeply respect you please turn on we invite all souls that wish to serve to open their hearts and souls to bring love peace and harmony to come at this time to chant and to sing love peace and harmony with us again those that are new you can watch the timeline Kristen Rojas has posted some information on this mantra for the rest of us that are not let us sing one round and let's offer a blessing with this song to everybody that is present one round let us begin Lula Lula Li Lu la lu la la li Lu la lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la Wo ai wo xin her ling Wo ai tlan man lay Ang ling rung her mu shir shong Shong ai ping on a shay Shong ai ping on her shay I love my heart and soul I love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony <coughs> love peace and harmony how 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 thank you thank you thank you how is a mandarin chinese word that means perfect complete we say thank you three times. The first thank you is to our beloved divine creator. To the second thank you is to all the beings of light who are now surrounding each and every one of you and each and every one here. And the third thank you is to our own soul for guiding you to this wisdom practice that you can release some of your sufferings and increase your love. <clears throat> so welcome also Andrew Jordan. Aloha Lisa. Welcome also to Natalie Jones. Uh, if I missed anybody's name, Nina, thank you for coming. Thank you for clicking the share button to let other people know about today. So what is the cause of all of the challenges that people have in their health? What is the cause of all of the challenges people have in their finances? What is the reason for the challenges people have in their relationships? What is the reason that people have challenges in their spiritual journey and in every aspect of life? In one sentence, the root cause is Shen Qi Jing blockages. In Tao science, the root cause is negative information, energy, and matter. So what is meant by this? <clears throat> negative Shen Qi and Jing is negative messages and information from this and all time negative thoughts words and actions and they impact our energy and our matter this is the root cause of our suffering of our challenges do you have financial challenges Unhappy faces if you do. Dunk, 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 dunk. Do you have 
health challenges? Dunk, 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 dunk. Do you have relationship challenges, sufferings? If you have good relationships, happy face, happy face, yay. No problem with your finances, happy face, happy face. <clears throat> we all have sufferings and challenges in various aspects of our life. But the root cause in Tao science perspective is negative information energy and matter what does that mean and how does that work how does that relate to what we're going to be doing here today negative information is the collection the culmination of all of your positive or negative thoughts words and actions <clears throat> so if it's positive information we have good relationships, happy finances, very good things. If we have negative relationships, very difficult finances, it's a result of a gathering, a culmination of negative information. Uh, the majority of my life, and I'm guessing some of you may be similar, <clears throat> I've had difficulty with finances. Thank God that has shifted. But it shifted mostly because of what shifted up here. I shifted at the level of information. Why was it constantly available to me? Why was the challenge always there? Perspective, perspective, perspective. I allowed myself to stay in a negative information loop. Where does the negative information arrive from? Well, my parents are poor, therefore I am poor. Well, that may be true, but maybe not. How many people had poor parents, but it motivated them to be very wealthy? So we can't necessarily point the finger outside of us, can we? Negative information or positive information comes all from the same source. Find a mirror and then point at the mirror. That's where it comes from. Our negative and positive information is created by ourselves. Did you walk through yesterday? Did you take a look at all the times yesterday when you were critical of yourself? Did you observe when you were <coughs> complaining? Did you observe when you were um, gossiping about another? Did you observe when you, under your breath, said, I can't believe, da 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 Did you curse at the person that just about cut you off while driving? Uh, if you said no, well, then you're a pretty amazing person because most of us do not walk through life with positive thoughts, positive words, and positive actions. We all have variations of that mixed in with some of the not so negative or not so positive information. And it is the collective nature of this negative information that leads to the collective nature of challenges in our life. Very simply put, if you have challenges in your life, on some level, conscious or unconsciously, they have been earned. So how then do we transform these negative shen qi jing. How do we transform the negative information, energy, and matter? In one sentence, to transform the negative shen qi jing, or in Tao science, negative information and matter, is to transform it with love, light, forgiveness. We must apply the simple principles. I said in the beginning, this can be very, very simple. The simple way uh, that the Tao wisdom is, the, the, the way can be very simple, right? <clears throat> how simple can it be? Just changing your thoughts to positive? Yes, but how do I do that? How do I make my thoughts, my words, my actions positive? Not always so easy, is it? I tell you, I deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis, constantly catching myself in a uh, negative thought, in a criticism, in a complaint. Complaints can be very minor. Complaints can be um, the person walking by while you're sitting at a table, and um, maybe they don't smell all that clean. And so you complain in your head, you know, why don't they get a shower? Or it can be... Um, the waiter brings you something at your table and they don't do it in the way that you expected it in an efficient manner or whatever it may be. You do a little complaint in your head. Complaints are so commonplace in our life. And what are they doing? They're culminating. They're, they're building up. They're creating a negative energy field. 
do you think that's going to attract to you positive finances positive relationships do you think it's going to attract to you positive health absolutely not so we want to apply as much positive Shen Qi Jing positive energy to our field as possible how do we do that we do that by applying some of the wisdoms that can be found in many of Dr. Master Shah's books. This one is called The Greatest Love. One of the greatest little handbooks, look, just look at the size of my hand. That's all the bigger this book is. Perfect size. So I'll read you some snippets of wisdom from here, and then we're going to do some very simple practices together. Welcome, Bari. Welcome, Santa. Welcome also to Sherry. Uh, welcome, Machiko. Aloha, or Lordena. <clears throat> welcome, Rosetta. Welcome also to Andrew. If I missed your name, forgive me. I love you. Thank you for your presence. Chapter 2, the power and significance of Da Ai, the greatest love. Da Ai, greatest love, carries the purest Shen Qi Jing of heaven. This is really important. Da Ai, the greatest love, carries the purest Shen Qi Jing of heaven. What is Shen Qi Jing? Shen is soul, heart, and mind. So the purest soul, the purest heart, the purest thinking, and the purest energy and matter. Da I carries that. We want heaven's purity, don't we? We want heaven's pure love, pure energy, and pure matter. <clears throat> because if we can shortcut our suffering, if we can limit our suffering, then I'm all in, right? What's the simplest way to do that? Sh to infuse in our life heaven's Shen Qi and Jing, heaven's purity. Let it override our negativity, right? It also carries the purest Shen Qi Jing to enhance your life by boosting your energy, stamina, vitality, and immunity, health issues, right? So the greatest love, Da I, can boost our energy. Why? How? Well, do you think negative energies, negative thinking is going to give you more zest in life? Do you think negative energy, negative thinking, complaining is going to help your health or make you more tired? Or do you think it will make you more energized? So when we add the greatest love to our life, the greatest Da I, it literally boosts our daily energy. It will bring you health and happiness to your spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical bodies. Kind of straightforward if you think about it. It will rejuvenate your soul, heart, mind, and body. Da I, the greatest love. It will harmonize relationships. It will bless your finances. It will increase your intelligence. It will open your spiritual channels. And Da I will enlighten your soul, heart, mind, and body. When you chant Da I, when you trace Da I calligraphy, literally, you are bringing heaven's positive frequency, vibration, information, heaven's purest, highest God purity, heaven purity, love into our energetic field. It's literally that simple. And a lot of us, we get stuck in the daily routines of life and we forget just how easy it can be. Master Shah <clears throat> has three empowerments. They are to enlighten people and teach them how to reach enlightenment, to teach people how to self-heal, and to teach people how to love. And these enlightenments are listed in every one of his books. Da I is one of the simplest ways to accomplish this. Because as we bring in positive frequency, positive information, positive messages from singing the simple message of greatest love, very simple. We're just repeating the words greatest love. But we're not doing it at the human level. We are receiving heaven's mana heaven's virtue heaven's purity and it's literally 
erasing. It's erasing our negative words, our yesterday's negative complaining. It's our anger towards our spouses. Every time we connect and bring in heaven's purity, heaven's frequencies, we are clearing our negative Shen Qi Jing. And the natural side effect is I feel healthier and happier. I feel more flourishing. I feel more positive. I feel better today. I don't know what it is. What did I do differently? Oh, yeah. I brought in heaven's pure frequency. Imagine that. It truly is that simple. So the reason we trace the Da I calligraphy, the reason we chant, is because of the nature of what it does so take a look at this calligraphy and I'm going to read from chapter 3 what is Tao source calligraphy really listen well to this explanation is if you get it if you get it you will literally do what is being suggested all the time really listen carefully with your heart Calligraphy is one of the most revered arts in the Chinese culture. For many, it is much more than art. It is a spiritual practice. Master Shah says, I learned Ibitsu, a very special and rare form of calligraphy, from Professor Li, who is more than 100 years old. She was 102 when she started teaching it to Master Shah. She was the teacher. Her father was the teacher of the last emperor of China and the royal family. Ibitsu is oneness writing. Within this oneness writing, literally transmitted into this oneness writing, is heaven's purest, highest frequency of Shen Qi Jing. How many of you go through life trying to connect to God, trying to find uh, uh, the source, talking to him endlessly all night long, please God help me, please with this, please with that. Heaven can be a little bit of a distance from us when we're suffering. But when we bridge the gap by bringing positive frequencies, positive energies, positive messages energy and matter into our aura into our energetic field we literally wash away the debris then heaven can give us the love we've been asking for we need something that's a vacuum cleaner something that's an eraser if you will and that's maybe not the best analogy but it's one that maybe help your brain to understand the value of these calligraphies they are literally assisting us in washing away our negativity. So let us <clears throat> employ the very simple practice of tracing the calligraphies. There are four power technique. The first power is soul power, connecting to the blessings that heaven has placed within this oneness calligraphy it is literally a channel to heaven it is literally a medium through which heaven's positive healing frequencies can come into you and all we have to do to receive it is trace it so we connect to the soul world repeat after me if it is comfortable for you dear the soul of heaven the Tao the source my beloved creator all of the blessings that you have placed within this unique yibitsa da i greatest love oneness calligraphy i love you honor you deeply appreciate you and i thank you for delivering your pure positive information energy and matter into this calligraphy i thank you heaven for this generous gift that you've delivered so that I can heal and help myself. I ask that as I trace, that you please assist me in healing, 
choose one area finances relationship choose one area so that you can see the results could be pain okay instead of choosing finances listen carefully instead of choosing finances choose the mental emotional blockages that have kept me from having flourishing in my life because that's the reason why you don't have it instead of saying please bless my finances say bless me to heal and remove the emotional mental blockages that I have allowed to keep me from having good finances in my life right different perspective very important <clears throat> okay so then we ask dear all the beings of light and you can list them one by one if you like we've already invited them at the beginning for those that came in late they're already present I love you I'm very grateful for any additional positive Shen Qi Jing any additional positive information energy and matter you wish to shower upon my request I'm so honored thank you and now we deal directly with the request because it has a soul if it's a relationship it has a soul if it's a pain in your neck or back it has a soul repeat dear the soul of state whatever you're talking about I love you you have the power to heal yourself you have the power to release your negative energy and matter you have the power to release your negative messages and receive the positive messages energy and matter from the da I calligraphy from my chanting do a good job this is called soul communication that's the first power second power mind power creative visualization as we trace this calligraphy you're going to visualize light coming directly from heaven into this calligraphy into your area of request very simple very straightforward from heaven the light comes through the calligraphy into your request that's your mind power for sound power we're going to chant da I and greatest love and for body power we're going to place our fingers together like this <clears throat> all five fingers touching and you simply follow the line from the top to the bottom okay I know it's a little blurry it's hard for me to adjust it to not be blurry because of the nature of where it's at and it's trying to focus on my face let's see if that makes a difference still looks blurry to me so all right we'll do we'll work with it as best we can and so <clears throat> one more thing very very important the greatest wisdom ask forgiveness for bringing the negative message the negative vibration or information because we have to remember we created it so ask forgiveness like this repeat dear the source my beloved creator dear all the souls in all time that I or my ancestors have harmed especially for this condition that I am requesting right now if you're requesting finances you ask forgiveness for harming others finances and so forth I wish to sincerely sincerely apologize from my heart all the times I have spoken or thought very unpleasant things especially related to my request all the times I have offered unpleasant actions that may have brought me this suffering I am now experiencing I know that the negative energy and matter that's in my life is as a result of the mistakes that I have made I know that as I ask forgiveness with a pure heart that I may possibly receive yours and I will not make the same mistakes again I ask sincerely for your forgiveness to all the souls continue that have brought harm or suffering to me brought negative energies into my life negative thoughts words actions all the souls I no longer wish to hold on to or be in a place of anger resentment about those negative experiences I wish to fully and completely open my heart and release these negative information energy and matter you can have them back I don't wish them in my world anymore 
I wish to forgive you fully and completely and I hope you forgive me fully and completely whatever mistakes I may have made that may have brought this negative energies into my life I ask the soul of this oneness calligraphy heavens purest highest love light and positive frequencies to come through and bless my request thank you thank you thank you okay so now let us trace with our heart wide open smiling and happy singing with love positive energy let us begin da i 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 da Greatest love, unconditional love, melts all blockages, purifies my heart and so see the light coming into your area of request huge love and light da i da i da i da i da i da Die, die, greatest love. Send your greatest love to your beloved divine, to God, to the source. Open your heart to the source. You will receive greater love in return. Greatest love. Melt all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. Greatest love, unconditional love. Melt all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. I die, die, die. Da, I, da, I, da, I, da, Send your greatest love to your beloved divine, your beloved creator, giving you such beautiful love and light. As we are tracing, what I am seeing is the source has come to each of you. A golden hand has come to each of your hearts, clearing challenges, clearing mindsets and beliefs, negative mindsets and beliefs. There are countless heavens, animals, and saints coming from the divine's golden hands. And they are flying around 
your soul they are clearing Shen Chi Jing negative energy blockages for some of you these blockages are in your liver you have held on to such great anger heavens animals are serving alongside the Saints for some of you there is clearing of blockages along the arteries of your heart saving your lives for some of you there is blessings going to your brains where there is dark clouds of negative information energy and matter that has kept you from seeing the information in the right way these cloud has clouded your judgments kept you in a place of wrong thinking I also see blockages being cleared along the spine heavens has dragons and there are heavens dragons that are going in between each and every vertebrae clearing blockages up into the neck and into the brain as well heaven is most generous the more you send your greatest love to the source creator the greater the love that comes to you let us continue die 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 I die 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 greatest love unconditional love melts all blockages purifies my heart and soul greatest love unconditional love melts all blockages purifies my heart and soul and now I will chant and turn on my treasures to serve each of you close your eyes stop tracing sit up straight relax your shoulders relax prepare to receive I ask all my downloads and treasures for love and forgiveness to turn on to please offer a blessing as appropriate for every person's request watching this live stream or watching the recording I ask the blessings within this die card to serve each person's request at the highest level possible as appropriate blessing begin Ishur <speaking in Hebrew> 
Shiao to walk everybody through a forgiveness practice with your eyes closed. If you do this deeply, you could find significant benefits. Repeat after me. Dear my beloved divine, dear all souls of humanity, all animal souls, all the souls, if I or my ancestors have harmed you, especially if I have harmed you for the condition that I am suffering from. From the bottom of my heart, I sincerely, 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 sincerely apologize. There is no excuse for bringing negativity into other people's lives by thoughts or words or unpleasant actions. And I regret these mistakes. I ask your forgiveness. I will continue to improve, to be better, to avoid negativity. I will continue to help others to be happier and healthier. I would be deeply honored to receive your forgiveness. I'm so grateful. Thank you. I'm still tracing for you. I'm still serving you. You're receiving huge benefits. Continue to repeat. Dear all the souls whom I have held with great anger, great contempt, all the souls that I have been very upset about, co-workers, family members, loved ones, for all the times you have harmed me, hurt me emotionally, hurt my heart, all the times you have taken advantage of me. I no longer wish these negative messages in my life. I no longer wish these negative information to affect my energy and matter. I wish to only have positive information, energy and matter in my life. I wish to fully release you now and forgive you your mistakes. And if I owe the person that caused these mistakes to occur in the first place. If I hurt you first and was not aware of it, then I sincerely apologize these mistakes. Let us forgive each other and fully release the negative Shen Qi Jing 
and allow heaven's purity, positive energy and matter to rejuvenate and heal us both. Continue to receive. You may now, if you wish, open your eyes and trace or continue to simply receive. Die, 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 Greatest love, unconditional love, melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. Open your heart. Receive the love the source has for you. The source, the universe, God, all the beings of light are showering you with love. They can only give you as much as you're willing to receive. <clears throat> Greatest love, unconditional love melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. Greatest love, unconditional love, melts all blockages purifies my heart and soul and from your heart bow your head to your divine creator to whoever you believe and to all the beings of light offer your gratitude for they have offered their unconditional service they have offered their virtue to serve you in your soul journey thank you heaven thank you Dar. thank you source thank you all the beings of light and thank you to all the souls that have offered their forgiveness thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> so if there's anybody that had any profound experiences or any measurable experiences from this 20 minutes of practice you're welcome to share any sharing of course you're welcome but um, we've been practicing about 20 minutes so in one day there's forget how many minutes it's like 28,000 or something do you think you can find 20 minutes in one day 30 minutes in one day to sing love peace and harmony and to trace the I that's on the cover of the book it's also on the inside in one of the images the power has been transmitted to the book the power has been transmitted specifically to the calligraphy and if you came in late and you don't know how watch the beginning I explain how that works uh, and if you're still not sure that's okay uh, Master Shah teaches if you want to know if a pair is sweet taste it if you want to know if this really works try it if you don't see a result at the end of 20 minutes it means one very simple thing that the negative messages information energy and matter has culminated to a bigger pile of crud than this 20-minute practice was able to impact it doesn't mean it didn't work 
if you have a, a six foot pile of dirt and you take one shovel at it there's definitely less dirt but you might not see that if you're on the other side looking at the same pile so you have to change your thinking each time you take a shovel and remove that negative information remove that negative energy and matter you're getting closer to that pile getting down to nothing and guess what the very next practice you do you're adding positive information so now you're making a positive information pile and what's that going to do for your health your wellness your flourishing right it's going to help you in every aspect of your life <clears throat> so in a nutshell the message is very very simple all that you need to bring healing to your life to to reverse and transform the challenges whatever they are you need copious amounts of positive information energy and matter where can you get that you do a lot of forgiveness and you do a lot of positive and beneficial things helping others to be happier and healthier and you do this practice because this carries heavens purity heavens positive information energy and matter and I can tell you it is a million times more powerful than you're in my efforts down here at this plane so do it more often do it every day do it ten times a day do not think it's not working just remember the analogy I just gave you one shovel at a time and pretty soon you're shoveling on positive energy and positive matter and positive benefits and your health and wellness will continue to improve and increase just do it it always works just takes enough time energy and practice <clears throat> let's see what some of the responses are <clears throat> David Smith says thank you Kristen says da I Sam Nelson thank you man you're welcome Nina I saw myself sitting inside a pyramid and shower of pieces of gold and light all over yes the the positive comes in clearing the blockage is beautiful Rosetta says thank you such a beautiful powerful practice she felt so much love and feeling healing in her head and her heart Heather says beautiful she saw lots of green uh, and uh, going around her heart and radiating out into her aura and she's full of gratitude uh, Shelly says <clears throat> two of her cats got very close on the on the while that they did this practice her big cat loves Om and has lots of young energy he gets peaceful healing Om great David Smith everything was on target his hyper bees detector was silent good Dan says thank you this really works uh, and thank you hey I am just a messenger delivering the great wisdom that Master Shah has brought if you don't know who he is do a little homework drsha.com go buy this book the greatest love uh, go buy any of his 24 books many New York Times bestsellers it will awaken you to a, a wonderful path down the road of spirituality and uh, health and wellness and bring a lot more positivity into your life so it's been my honor to serve you I look forward to serving you I will see you uh, what's today Tuesday I will see you Thursday 9 a.m. Hawaii time that's noon California Pacific time that's uh, 3 p.m. in the afternoon in the Eastern time zone 8 p.m. in the UK 9 p.m. in Central Eastern time zones and that's gonna be uh, about 1230 in the morning in India and it'll be about 5 in the morning in Australia and about 7 in the morning in the land of the Kiwi but until then Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you then. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for your sharing.